Alright guys, ATC Guardian and Abby here. Today we are going over our EDC or Everyday Carry loadout. Um, everyday Carry is what's on me every day, usually what I carry. Uh, we also have an EDC bag, which I will sometimes take out, uh, usually when I go on longer trips. Um, Abby also has an EDC pack, which we'll show you guys a little bonus clip of. Um, that is for when we go hikes and we go on long walks together. So. Without further ado, let's get into some EDC. We'll start with what's on me. Um, the phone that I'm recording on right now is a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Um, S9 Plus, so really nice phone, really love it. Good quality camera, so I don't carry a separate camera with me. I can just use my phone, it's awesome. As you guys know, um, my faith is a very big role in my uh, life, so I also use my cross necklace that I carry around with me all the time. Boom. Always wearing it. Love it. It's with me 24 seven and I wear it all the time. A uh, very big part of my life. So always make sure I wear this guys. Um, next up, watch. I use a Samsung watch. Uh, Samsung this is not the Galaxy watch, this is the Samsung uh, S Gear S3, I believe. Frontier version, um, which is all black. Very nice. I like this one better than the newer Samsung Galaxy watch. Um, just because all black, it matches my style more and um, it does basically the same thing for a cheaper price. Uh, next up, wallet. Most people carry smaller, at least thinner, black leather wallets. Um, I have a genuine leather wallet uh, that's obviously thicker than what most people carry. This is because uh, it was my grandfather's, so it got passed down to me. I carry it with me. It's got the Buckeye State for Ohio on it. Uh, genuine handmade leather. Uh, obviously all the usual stuff people carry in their wallet, cards, business cards, and that stuff. Uh, next up, back pocket, car keys. Um, I have car keys on my hook here. Hook it to my belt loop and tuck it into my back pocket. Uh, paracord, black paracord. Always good to have some paracord with you. You never know when you need to untie it and use it. Uh, basic house keys, car keys, all that stuff. I try and keep, keep my keychain minimalistic because I don't want jingle jingling around even if it's in my back pocket. Uh, next up, multi-tool. Most, some people I guess, most people carry a f knife is all. I carry a full-size multi-tool. Um, stainless steel. It's got everything I need on it. Pliers, knife, uh, scissors, uh, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Everything I could need. It is a little bigger, a little bulkier. Um, I carry it in my pocket, so it's not too big. Um, I think it's just the right size, but it works for me. I don't mind it in my pocket, so it's awesome. Always good to have some kind of tool with you guys. I don't carry a separate knife because the multi-tool has a knife built in. Uh, next up is um, belt. I carry a next belt. Um, it's tactical black with a metal metallic black uh, buckle. Very nice belt, very sturdy. It's got the ratchet system in it, so I can just, whenever I'm, after I'm done eating, I should say, I could just loosen it up, loosens up the belt, and then I could just ratchet it back very easily, no holes. Don't have to mess with that stuff that older belts have with the holes. Uh, very nice belt. Next up on the belt, I have the new holster that I got, as well as the firearm. We'll take this out. This is the Tier 1 Concealed um, Axis Slim version. So we'll take out the gun so we know it's safe. Magazine is empty. Gun. Empty mag. Nothing in the chamber. This gun is safe. Stick the empty mag back in. And back in the holster. So, 
Tier 1 Concealed does an awesome job with their holsters, highly recommend it. Um, I've had this one for a very short time, took some time to get used to but not a lot as compared to other holsters. Uh, this one is very well made, um, I went with the all black, you could customize your holster, um, different colors, different color cord up here. Uh, the cord helps it bend to your body which is nice. Uh, if you've got a bigger waistline, it'll bend around there. Um, extra magazine's always good to have. I got mine with the flashlight attachment, so I like to carry my flashlight all the time. That's why I got the smaller flashlight. Uh, some people have the longer ones. I like smaller uh, flashlights. It is the TLR7 Streamlight. Um, I believe this is, what is it, 400 lumens? Not quite sure, I'd have to check that, but awesome flashlight. Uh, I, it is on the Glock 19 Gen 4 Limited Edition. So the Limited Edition, if you guys don't know, comes with the front serrations here, and it also already has the night sights on it. Uh, so awesome handgun, I love it. Um, I just got into handguns, as you guys know. This is an amazing all-around starter handgun and also for experts. So great gun, awesome, love it. Back in the holster, this is great guys, great setup, um, at least for me as a beginner. Um, this is amazing. Uh, what I do have here is, this, these are the rounds that I carry with me. They are hollow point. Um, I prefer hollow point for self-defense carry and concealed carry. Um, typically they have more stopping power than full metal jackets. Boom, hat. I usually carry a hat in my pack with me. This is just a black standard American flag hat. Um, that's usually typically all I carry on me. Uh, I do have a pack of gum, that's about it. Next up we'll get with the backpack guys. So this is a backpack I bought on Amazon. Great backpack. Carries like, it's like, I don't know, it carries a bunch of stuff though. Um, it does have the camel pack ability right here. So I do have a uh, water bladder over there that I could stick in here for hikes. Um, on the front, we'll start with the front. I got my thin blue line American flag patch and medical patch here, because I do carry medical with me. We'll start with the top patch, work our way down, or the top pouch, I should say. Top pouch, I carry just, boom, sunglasses. I uh, got a phone charger, always good to have a phone charger on you. Um, I got a different kind of phone charger, just in case. Uh, earbuds, flashlight, not very bright, but it works. Uh, power pack, awesome, love my power pack. This has saved me so much uh, when my phone has died, or other devices for that matter. This is great, it also has a flashlight on it as well. Chem lights, um, you know, I guess some, it's not really everyday essential, but why not? I have chem lights, so I usually carry a couple chem lights with me. They last 12 hours, bright green. If for some reason all of my lights went out, all my flashlights, backup chem lights. That's it for that pouch, zip that back up. Uh, bottom patch is where I have all my medical gear. Medical gear, what I have is a um, lot of gloves. Always good to have gloves on you, uh, especially if you're working on other people. Um, tourniquet. Let's see if we can pull this out. Tourniquet right there. Um, I carry one at the moment. I should probably carry at least two, maybe even three, but one tourniquet will do now. Israeli bandage. Always good to have an Israeli bandage. Um, hydrogen peroxide. This is just a squirt bottle with some hydrogen peroxide in it to clean out and flush wounds. Make sure it doesn't get infected. 
Uh, then we have some, uh, just some hand sanitizer. Chapstick, Burt's Bees, love it, all natural. Um, always gotta have chapstick for your lips, not just for your lips, but also the flashlight on the Glock. Um, if you put it on the flashlight, it'll help keep the, the uh, flashlight clear. Uh, then we just got some pens, pencils, um, marker, business cards. Uh, what's down here? Then we got our first aid kit, IFAC. Uh, one to two person, this is good enough for me and Abby when we're out hiking. This is all we need. I'm not going to go too into detail what we got here, but basically uh, we got some scissors, um, tweezers, um, ticks. If you guys live in an area that have ticks, there's these cool little tick removal kits that you could get right here. And basically they can just pluck the tick right out without it breaking apart. Awesome tool. Um, just some gauze. Black salve. Awesome. If you guys don't know what Black Sav is, you can Google it. And what else? Bandage tape. More chapstick. Um, I have Quick Blood Stopper for Abby. This is for dogs. Quick Blood Stopper if they get a cut or like their nail comes off or something. Quick Stopper is always good. Then just a whole bunch of bandages gauze, uh, some antiseptic wipes, um, emergency blanket, always good to have a emergency blanket, uh, and a syringe as well. I keep an empty syringe here, just good to either fill with the hydrogen peroxide or clean fresh water, uh, just to clean out and flush wounds. Always great to have an empty syringe. Um, yep, that's it for the first aid kit. Always good to have a first aid kit, especially if you guys do a lot of outdoor activities like me and Abby do when we go hiking. Um, next up, another pouch here. Uh, bug spray. Lemon eucalyptus, all natural lemon eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is great all natural for preventing bugs, mosquitoes, especially mosquitoes, but it also will prevent ticks from jumping on you, all that good stuff. I always keep some on me. Uh, just another little keychain, more paracord. Batteries, a little bit of everything, AAA, AA, and then I have some for my uh, handgun flashlight, the TLR7. Always good to have extra batteries in a little waterproof Ziploc bag. Um, food, some people could carry food. I carry just some beef jerky. You never know when you get hungry throughout the day, guys. You need a little snack. You just pull out the beef jerky, take a little, little bite, and you're good to go. Then just some little bottles of water. Always keep them in here just in case I don't have a water near me. Um, so that's kind of it up here. Uh, actually, the gloves too. So I have a pair of range gloves. They're good, thick, sturdy gloves with padded uh, knuckles. Awesome. Haven't really used them yet because I just bought them, but always good, uh, especially if you do outdoor stuff, to have a pair of gloves. Next pouch, guys. Next pouch is um, pretty much empty right now, but what I do is the laptop sitting right over there. I pack it up, fits perfectly in here, especially since I work on the computer pretty much all day. Um, laptop and power cord, mouse fits in here. Clothes, if I'm going somewhere overnight, clothes, stick them right in this back pouch. And uh, yeah, it's not too heavy. It's got the, uh, the chest cord that you can buckle and it's also got the waist stomach cord. So I love it, awesome backpack, and it has the mole system so you can attach more bags to it if you need to. We have what Abby carries. So Abby's here right next to me. She has her own mole vest right here. Bought this on Amazon as well. Nice and sturdy. 
Um, we stuck a, another thin blue line American flag patch on there. Uh, and yeah, it's got metal buckles, handle, metal buckles here that uh, come on and off, and then some sturdier buckles back here. Um, another pat, uh, American flag patch, Velcro, up front. So this just fits right on here. And on the side is Velcro, and also the mole system, like I said. So these saddlebags that I bought for her will attach right here, one on each side, and they can hang on her, and she can carry her own stuff while we're out hiking or going for long walks, which is amazing. All of you people that have dogs know if you have dogs, you carry a lot of stuff, especially when you go on long hikes and it can get tiresome and then you have to take your backpack off dig through your backpack no good right so here i don't have to take my backpack off i just reach into hers get what she needs and she's good to go um speaking of which let's dig into hers she has two backpacks that hook onto her vest let's see what she has in them first one of course, every dog needs a tennis ball when they go on adventures. Next up, uh, just a baggie with some snacks in it. Kind of empty because she's hungry and she's a little piggy and I haven't filled it up yet. Uh, we got some dog food. Always good to have dog food. You never know how long you'll be out on long hikes. Do you want this dog food? It's not gonna happen. Dog food. That's it for this pouch mainly food, treats, toys. Next pouch is mainly um, all the other stuff. So she's got her little own bottle of water. Collapsible bowl, boom. Very big collapsible bowl. Get a lot of food or water in there. And then just some doggy duty bags. Especially good to have in a pouch that your dog carries because yeah you don't want to carry doggy duty bags around with you all the time uh, she also if you guys can see has this little collar which we just got her boom right here she wears this pretty much every day and you click this little button and it flashes it strobes uh, it can also just standard light up like so like so. Maybe you gotta hold the button down. There it is. Kind of. Well, it lights up. Uh, so at night you can see her, especially when she has it on, running around in the woods and you can't find her. Good to go. Uh, let's see, what else, Abby? I think that is it, guys. Um, that is my EDC loadout. Right here is her leash that I forgot because it fell on the floor. Um, I like it because it is reflective, very sturdy. Um, it is one of those bungee leashes, so it kind of encourages her to stay next to me. Also has the handle here if I need to get a quick grab on her and make sure she isn't, um, you know, run off or do something that she's not supposed to. Good leash. And that is now it. That is our EDC loadout, everyday carry everyday backpack, everyday dog pack. That's what we use. Hope you guys enjoyed. I like watching YouTube videos to see what you guys carry in your EDC loadout. So I'll be looking forward to those. If you guys have any questions or you wanna know more details on any of the items that were shown in the video, please leave a comment below. I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And Abby and I will see you guys next time.